We're here to talk about the NCAA tournament. In March Madness, the finest time of the year, we're going to try today to pick out some of the key games that will take place in the four regions. Let's have some fun today and decide where we're going to go and who's going to have the opportunity to be a part of the final eight and the final four national championship. The East region is very interesting. North Carolina being the top seed of the number one seeds has the opportunity to stay in the state of North Carolina until they go to San Antonio. What a great break that is. The two and three seeds, Tennessee and Louisville, of which I think Louisville will come out and beat Tennessee. And then you're going to have North Carolina versus Louisville to reach the final four. Let's go to the Midwest region. Very competitive. First round, Davidson to knock off Gonzaga. Now Georgetown and Kansas to get to the regional final. And I think Kansas will come out of that region to play North Carolina Midwest region versus the Eastern region. All right, let's get to the Western region. Once again, a tough region. Everyone is picking UCLA. I think I'm going to go with UCLA too. But the upset there will be that 12-5 seed, Western Kentucky versus Drake. And then from there, UCLA versus Texas to go to the national championship game. Let's go to the South region. That's where I think the seeds kind of hold out. Too many good teams. I have Memphis getting to the regional final and Texas getting to the regional final, not Stanford. And Texas beating the number one seed in that South region, Memphis State, to go to the final four. Wow, we're at the national semifinal games. What a spectacular event. Here you have Texas versus UCLA and North Carolina versus Kansas. I have North Carolina beating Kansas and UCLA knocking out Texas. Two major powerhouses in basketball. Let's wait and see who we will pick. Championship Monday of the NCAA basketball tournament. North Carolina versus UCLA. What wins national championships? Some people don't realize Foul shooting does, obviously defense does, and probably talent. But you have two extremely talented teams. I think that North Carolina with Hansborough and UCLA with Love, two great big men who can run the floor, play defense, and extremely well coached by both young men in Ben Allen and Roy Williams. I think it's going to be a wonderful game. Roy Williams plays great defense, but UCLA is probably one of the top five defensive teams in the country. So I'm going to have, despite talent, foul shooting, and defense, I got to go with North Carolina as the champion of the 2008 National NCAA Basketball Champions. Congratulations, Roy. I'll be blogging during the tournament, so check out Massimino Madness at palmbeachpost.com. Let's get it on.